Hello everyone, I am Dr. Vivek Venkatramani, Consultant Neuro-Oncologist and Robotic Surgeon in Mumbai. Today I will be speaking to you on testicular cancer, which is one of the rarer cancers among men, but it is still one of the most common cancers in the younger age group of 15 to 40 years and that's why it takes on considerable importance. Testicular cancer is an abnormal growth which can affect either one or both testes. Both testes may be affected in a minority or less than 5% of cases. It usually presents as a persistent, painless and progressively enlarging lump in the testes. It may be associated with the formation of fluid around the testicle which is known as the hydrocele and that's why whenever a young man presents with a hydrocele it's always important to evaluate him further and rule out a testicular cancer. If the man waits for a long time the cancer may then spread to other parts of the body which include the lymph nodes in the abdomen and sometimes they may come with pain in the abdomen or a lump which is felt in the abdominal region. Very rarely if the cancer has spread to other organs like the lung or liver, they may present with symptoms specific to that particular organ like cough or jaundice. The exact cause of testicular cancer is not known. However, there are certain clearly identified risk factors for this disease. One of the most common one is an undescended testicle at birth. During fetal development, when the baby is in the mother's womb, the testicles are formed within the abdomen of the male child and they gradually come out into the scrotum by the time the child is ready for delivery. In some cases, these testicles do not descend completely into the scrotum and may remain in the abdomen or in the inguinal region. Because of the increased temperatures associated with that, there are certain genetic problems which occur in these testicles and that's why they are predisposed to forming malignancies or cancers later on in life. This is why one of the first things a pediatrician does when a newborn is born is to examine the boy child's testicles to make sure they are in the right place. If they don't descend by one year of age, usually it is recommended to surgically bring them down into the normal place. Other risk factors for testicular cancer include conditions associated with infertility, certain genetic disorders like Klinefelter syndrome or gonadal dysgenesis, as well as a family history of testicular cancer. All men who have noticed a lump or swelling in their testicle should go to the urologist for a checkup. On examination, the urologist will check the size, the hardness or consistency of the lump as well as examine the abdomen or lymph nodes in the neck for any spread of the disease. The most common test that would be recommended is an ultrasound of the scrotum. This will give us an idea of whether there is a mass in the testis or whether it's just a collection of fluid or hydrocele as we discussed. It will also give us an idea about the opposite testicle because as we saw, there is a small percentage of cases in which the tumor can be on both sides. If a tumor is confirmed on the ultrasound, then certain tumor markers or blood tests are also sent in order to determine which type of cancer may be present. These include simple blood tests like alpha fetoprotein, beta HCG and the serum LDH level. If these are raised or if there is any suspicion of spread of the disease, a CT scan of the chest, abdomen and pelvis will be done to look for any cancer spread to other organs like the lymph nodes, lung or liver. In certain types of testicular cancer, there is a risk of spread to the brain and so the doctor may also recommend a CT scan of the brain if he feels that is necessary. Testicular cancer is one of the greatest success stories of the past 50 years in terms of successful treatment. However, due to the stigma and the shame certain men feel, they often present very late and allow the lump to grow for many months and even spread to other organs before they present to the surgeon or the urologist. This is why it's important to come early if there is any time you notice something different in either of your testes or a lump or a swelling in the testes, please don't hesitate and come early because the success rates for treatment are really quite excellent. The initial step in the treatment of testicular cancer is what is known as an orchidectomy in which the testis along with the cord is removed uh, in the inguinal region. This is then sent for the biopsy 
and histopathological examination. This allows us to know the type of testicular tumor as well as the local stage of the disease. Depending on the type of tumors, some of which are more aggressive than others, we may recommend further treatment. The CT scan would also have shown if there was any spread to other parts of the body like the lymph nodes or lung or liver. And then depending on the type of tumor on the orchidectomy, the high risk features which may be seen and the exact stage of the disease, further treatment is recommended. For patients in whom the testicular cancer was localized only to the testis, that is stage 1, surveillance may be an option, close follow-up with examination, blood tests of tumor markers and regular imaging is indicated and this may be done for minimum of 5 years after diagnosis but in certain cases a longer follow-up is also needed. In case the cancer has spread anywhere or in those who have aggressive features on their biopsy, chemotherapy may be recommended. The chemotherapy for testicular cancer is extremely successful and more than 95% of cases, especially stage 2, will be cured with the chemotherapy as well. In those in whom the cancer is more advanced, chemotherapy is still very successful and today the majority of testicular cancer patients irrespective of the stage do very well after treatment. After chemotherapy, if there is some mass which is remaining in the abdomen, we may recommend what is known as a retroperitoneal lymph node dissection, which is quite a major surgery where the lymph nodes in the abdomen have to be removed in order to completely cure the patient. This is a quite a big surgery uh, and in the past it was done with a large incision right across the whole abdomen. Today, however, it can also be done with the robotic approach uh, where the surgery is minimally invasive and the patient's recovery is much faster and they go home usually within 2-3 days after the procedure. Given that this is a disease of young men, a lot of doctors have tried to find out how best we can prevent testicular cancer. Testicular self-examination where the man during his shower or bath should just examine both the testicles at least once a month and try and feel if there are, there are any lumps or if there has been a change in the size of either of the testicles is generally recommended to men between the age of 18 to 40 years. This allows us to detect the tumors at an early stage. If any man is suspecting that he may have a testicular tumor or there's a lump in the testicle, please don't hesitate and come forward immediately to your doctor. Don't delay your diagnosis as this could have an impact on the spread of the cancer and the potential outcome. If you found this video beneficial, please share it with others and like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.